Hey kids, today we are starting a new series called the Maths Timer Challenge. So what do I mean by that? Is when I read the problem or I display the problem, right? You read it through and then you have to plan everything well and uh, you have to you have to kind of solve it on your own with your own understanding with your own method and then find the answer right so when you start reading the problem until you finish it right you calculate the time that you took yeah and then update in the comment box of this video just in case you are watching in the Facebook you have to go to the uh, YouTube link which is given in the description and then update in the comment right your name your grade and the method that you followed and also the time that you took to solve the problem in the next video the winner will be announced and uh, there, are, there are conditions right the students up to grade 6 can participate in it and also you should not use calculator yeah so you have to do all the calculations on your mind or you can just write on the paper right so you have to solve without any calculator or digital device help yeah now how do I know that you solved it you know genuinely I trust you yeah so and you have to be honest right so let's read this problem and then I you can you can pause the video and then the moment you start reading the problem your clock starts yeah but if you're not interested, right, to participate in this uh, Maths Timer Challenge, please continue to watch this video. I'm solving this problem uh, in the, this video as well. Yeah. Okay. Sharon saved twelve dollars every day. After a number of days, she used all the money that she had saved to buy a few DVDs that cost twenty-one dollars each. What was the least number of days? that she needed to save in order to buy the DVDs. That's question one. Question two is, how many DVDs did she buy? Right guys, so let's solve the problem, yeah? So I have just written down what is given in the problem. I'll just go through it, right? So Sharon saved $12 per day, which means for one day she was saving $12, right? And then she bought DVD that cost $21. One DVD cost $21, right? When she bought the DVD, she used all the money that she had. Yeah, she finished off all the money. Just She had just enough to buy the DVDs and then zero balance. Yeah. Question one is the least number of days that she need to save to buy the DVDs and also total number of DVDs that she bought. Yeah, so those two questions that we are going to answer, right? So now from the problem, what we understand is that she used all the money, right? She used all the money. When she bought DVDs, she came back with zero dollars balance, right? What it means is that she is going on to save money. And at one point she had enough money to be uh, buy number of DVDs, right? She just had some, some, she, she, she had enough money to buy some number of DVDs, right? Yeah. So which means this 21 and this 12 will have to meet at one point, right? So what it means is that, right? So the 12 keep increasing and then 21 also is keep increasing, right? So that only both of them can meet at one point. Now, does it remind you something that you can do with both the numbers? Anyone? Yes, exactly. So if you take LCM, right, least common multiple, right, or lowest common multiple for both the numbers, that is where both the numbers will meet. Right? Got it? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. So let's take the LCM for 12 and 21. First, let's do it for, let's simplify it for 3, 4 times 3 is 12 and then 7, right? You cannot simplify it further, cannot be simplified further, let's multiply. 4 times, uh, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 7 is what? 84, right? 3 times 4 times 7 is equal to 84. So, 84 is the LCM, right? What it means is that, she need to save $84 so that she can buy DVDs that cost $21 
and then we'll be left with zero. Yeah? So far clear? Okay, fine. So now let's see, right? Okay. So one day, one day she saved $12. We need to find the least number of days to save, which means total number of days, right? Total number of days. So let's do that. Okay. So $12 times one day equals to $12, right? That's what she saved, right? Okay. So now, now we don't know how many days she needed to save. So let's take that as a total days. Yeah, total days. So $12 times, $12 times, right? Total days equals to 84. 84, right? You can use dollars or you don't need to use. At the end result, you need to just use the dollars. Yeah, let's use the numbers only here, right? Okay, let's use the numbers only. So 12 times total number of days is equal to 84, right? Because we don't know how many days she saved. That's why we are just putting total number of days. You can use units also, anything that you wish to use here, right? So now we need to find total number of days, right? 12 times total number of days is 84. So total number of days equals to, what do we need to do? Yes, exactly. 12, uh, 84 divided by 12 right so 84 divided by 12 is 7 so she needed to save for 7 days that is the answer 1 answer for the question 1 right so now let's see now let's see for question 2 right for question 2 total number of dvds that she bought total number of dvds that she bought so let's see how much is one dvd 21 21 dollars right so $21 times one DVD equals to $21, right? Got it? Yeah. So now we don't know how many total DVDs she bought. So we know each DVD costs $21, right? So $21 times total DVD. DVD. You can also use units here, right? Either way because you might not have time to write so many things so you can just use units also that's absolutely fine but i'm just helping you to understand yeah i'm writing dvd and days here so that you understand better okay so equals to how much still 84 she bought number of dvds for all the 84 dollars and each dvd cost 21 dollars right so now how do we find total dvds Right, I'll just write here total DVDs equals to how much? What do we need to do as per here? 84 divided by 21. That's right. 84 divided by 21, which is how much? Yes, exactly four. Right? So she needed she bought four DVDs. So the answer for question one, one is how much? Seven days. And then question two is how much? Four DVDs. Yeah, that is what the answers. Right? Okay, fine guys. So this is all for this video. Please don't forget to comment in the in the link just in case you participated in the in the math timer challenge. Yeah, thanks guys.